Before the eclipse, it is important to test your equipment to make sure it is working and make sure you are getting good resolution on your pictures. Furthermore, you need to test your setup to solve any problems while you can still solve them. And this is also an opportunity to develop any new skills you may need. Here's a picture of the sun through a cloud, taken by being reflected off of a tinted car window. This picture was also taken by being reflected off of a tinted car window. It shows the potential that a cell phone has of getting a good picture of a solar eclipse. Here is another one also taken by being reflected off of a car window. This shows the potential video quality you can get by using a reflection off of a tinted car window. Now it's time to get rid of any setup bugs. Figure out how you are going to set up your equipment and make sure you can get the shots you want to get. Now instead of a projector so you can take a photograph, you want to be able to pop it up on a box or some such thing so that you're not having to hold it up continuously. And you have to be free to actually go. But what you do is you move the box around so you find the image of the sun. Then you take your secondary box, you take your second box, and then you're going to position where it'll pop up the other box. Then you can be in a good position. Here's a better look at the initial setup of my binocular projector. Note the box supporting it. Here's the improved setup for my binocular projector. The camera is situated so that it can record video of the eclipse without being attended. The light projector that uses a pinhole. You can get a smaller box. Let's do the same thing. You find the sun's image and pop it up. And you know, now you don't have to move. You might have to. Now you might have to move the box from time to time. Keep the sun. The image, but you can do that by also moving the box around. It's not that hard. Actually, with the smaller ones, you can use this for anything to pop it up. And then say a bottle of oil, oil oil. Wow. And here you go, you have a nice little bit of sun at the bottom of this box. And it will stay put until the sun moves. The sun then you can just... And, and it will stay there until the sun moves. The point where the image moves off. So you can see it, but then you can always move the box. It's just it's pretty simple and straightforward. Once you have your equipment set up for the test, it is time to take some test images. This is to make sure you are getting good quality images because the time to find a problem is not the day of the eclipse, particularly when it is in progress. Here is one such test image taken through my binocular projector, simply using the camera on a cell phone. Here is yet another picture taken with a cell phone. In it, you can even see clouds. Here's a video also from the binocular projector. In preparing to view a solar eclipse, it is not only necessary to have the proper equipment, but to test it and your setup in advance. Testing equipment involves not only producing an image of the sun, but testing supports and photography methods. Making sure your equipment and photography methods work before the eclipse is critical to successful observation in photography. Most importantly, keep safe by not looking directly at the sun except during totality. 
This goes not only for your eyes, but for any cameras you have as well. Enjoy the eclipse safely and be prepared in advance to be safe and successful in your observation and photography.